Did you know that you can add images to your Google Calendar? I'm going to admit, it blew my mind when I figured this one out. Hi friends, it's Mary at Aforementioned Thoughts and I wanted to stop by today with a quick tip of how you can add images to your Google Calendar. Even though I have a paper digital calendar that I love using where I handwrite in it um, brainstorming ideas and um, everyday tasks and things within my home, I still use my Google Calendar on an everyday basis and a few years ago I've realized how I could add images to help certain appointments set apart and it really helped me become more organized with my Google Calendar and made it a little more fun and I wanted to share with you how to do that. Now this tip will work on Android, um, iPhone, on the web version, things like that. However, you will find a different way to implement this process on different devices. If you have a question about a specific device, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help out as much as I can. Um, but in general, this is just an idea to help you out. So you'll see here I have a few examples um, of how I might use images within my calendar. So if you look up here at April 5th, I have um, a little train next to a play date appointment at Trains R Us. <laughs> um, if you look down here at the 18th, I have a bowl of spaghetti at um, dinner at the Olive Garden and at the 26th I added a little puppy dog to Sparky's vet appointment and what this does is it helps me draw my eye to certain events and um, helps me know what I'm looking forward to at those. Now these are rather small here but I found that on other devices like phones and tablets a lot of times they're much more clear um, to see and usually I can make it out even if it is a little bit small. So the very easy way that you add images to your Google Calendar, we're going to do an example here on the 11th. So I'm just going to add an event. And what you're going to do is you're going to add an emoji. And I'll admit it seemed so simple once I finally figured it out, but it took me years to figure out that I could use emojis on my Google Calendar. I am on a MacBook right now and it's super easy to add emojis. Um, if you hit control command in the space bar, it pulls up the emoji. Um, here and you can even search. So let's say um, one thing I did with my little girl was when I was pregnant with my little girl I picked one emoji for all of her doctor's appointments and things like that. What I chose was a little duck. Uh, on my Android phone which is what I used at the time it looked like a little rubber duck um, but it looks here like it might look like a little standing chick but that's okay. So I just picked one that I used for every single appointment and appointment with Dr. Baby <laughs> and I would put that on there and so it gave me a quick visual when I looked at my calendar of when I had my last appointment and when I had my next appointment for her and it kind of helped me search for those. Um, that's one tip you can use it uh, specifically as other things but that's all you need to do is just add an emoji and it's pretty universal. I've just tested it out on many different devices on an iPhone and iPad and an Android tablet and an Android phone and the web version and even though they might look slightly different depending on what version you're on still a pretty good visual of what you have coming up another tip for quick visualization is birthdays so I will add a birthday cake and even if you set those to repeat it will show on every year on their birthday so I know if there's a cake coming up it's someone's birthday and I need to prepare accordingly. If you'd like to see more digital planning tips like this please be sure to subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye bye!